when you put your back against the wall, so you can't cheat, your feet may be about six inches to a foot away from the wall, you're gonna flatten your back a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely pressed in, but just not having this huge arch here. So you just think about pressing this down a little bit, right? You're gonna have your head touching the wall, and then without changing your rib cage position, like how far can you bring your shoulders up? Can you get it to the back of the wall? Okay, so that would be pretty normal range of motion. I noticed that I didn't flare my ribs, or if you come from the side, Joey, like there's not this, this would be cheating. Oh, look, I can get my hands up here. But really, you wanna get that doing this. And then we wanna look at, well, what are your shoulders doing? What's your neck doing? Because a lot of times you will feel all this tension up here because you don't have the mobility here. This has to fight and work really, really hard. And you're like, oh, my neck is so sore and tight. I need a massage. I need someone to massage my shoulders, my neck here. And then you do that, but it keeps coming back because you didn't address the whole mobility issue in the first place, right? So every time you raise your arms, you, what you end up doing is you just tension your neck. Every time you lift your arm into the water, you just tension your neck. So what may be the case is instead of massaging and rolling here, you may actually need to be releasing the lats or the posterior cuff. Lots of things <laughs> that it could be. Okay, so maybe partner up with somebody and um, grab a piece of wall. It could be that door.